Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to this week's video. In this week's video, I'm going to be using these two washes you just saw. The two flower ones are by Britt Wilson and the one with ghosts and gold washi is by Holly Junes. I'll write it down and I'll leave the links to them down below. So a quick introduction as to why I'm doing this. So a while ago, I was chatting with Aviva, who's the owner of the washi tape station which is a small shop of that sells washies with indie artists and she was talking that she saw my like shadow box thing that I did with the washi tape station washies and so she kind of requested not quite <laughs> that I did some with some washies so I did pay for these but she kindly gave me a bit of a discount and I purchased these with the intent of doing this shadow box slash paper box i don't really know the name of these do let me know because i don't really know what you call these but i do enjoy doing these <laughs> and so i decided that i wanted to do some paper elements as well and i wanted to just use these as kind of background elements and the rest to be fully paper and so i drew up these designs pretty quickly on pick on procreate on my ipad and then i just put them on to my silhouette studio and I just had the silhouette do its job. I still had to individually clean up because my blade, I don't think I put it deep enough, so it was not a fully clean cut, but it was enough that with a blade, I was able to just clean it all up. This project was pretty time consuming. Um, even though I don't think it was the most time consuming that I ever did, it took me around two days, but it's quite small, like the fully the the size of the box, and it still took me quite a time quite some time. So lots of podcasts were heard during this project. I'm currently binging not quite binging, I'm just listening every single time that I have the chance to archive 81. I saw the show on Netflix and I was quite confused by the ending and the show itself and intrigued. So I just went and was and went to Spotify and just been checking out the podcast. I am currently on the last season, I believe. Super confusing <laughs> podcast but really fun to listen to at least it's the kind of stuff that i like just weird stuff that's kind of like an audio play that's my type of podcasts i barely listen ones that have like hosts the only one that i do listen that has proper hosts is like and that's why we drink that's the only one that i do enjoy oh and morbid i've started listening to morbid lately but yeah other than that i do love me some audio plays things <laughs> It's just really fun to listen to. So yeah, I also did a little head. I did want to make a little character. This project came out pretty much as I imagined it, which is nice. Uh, it's not that common nowadays that stuff comes out as I imagined. And it was pretty chill. Um, I was definitely needing something different than what I usually do. Apologies, by the way, if you can hear the fan of my computer. Uh, it's, it's definitely going. <laughs> it's not really enjoying recording this audio, that's for sure. As you can see here, I have all the pieces cut out. I was just checking to see how they fit together. I definitely want to make one day one with no washi, just paper and do a light on the back so it definitely plays with the shadows so that's a project that i really wanted to do someday and to start i just used some foam board and i took the one from all junies to create a sort of like vintage wallpaper i guess and since it was vines i thought it could look very cool to be like in the background and then i just cut up some spacers you will see in this video that I am quite chaotic and I'm not methodical at all when it comes to this. Then I just took one of my Ferris wheel press washi tapes as well that was more flower based uh, just so I had sort of a flower bed I guess to where to put the flowers. So. 
I then just took one and each individual flowers from the other two washies and this was a process that took the most. Uh, it was pretty long, I gotta say. I This is the part that took me the longest for sure. I started this in the afternoon and then I, yeah, I had to carry on on the next day. So this pretty much took me, I'm not sure how many hours, but maybe around five hours if I'm exaggerating because yeah, I was doing other stuff in between, but this definitely took me maybe five hours. It's too much, <laughs> but definitely took me a long time. It was, it was a tedious job, but I think it came out pretty cool. I wasn't sure how I was going to use these. I definitely did not just want to glue them just like next to each other, just like the full washi. I definitely wanted to play with the individual flowers. And so that's what I did here. They came out cute, I think. And it was nice to have the different color variations. And yeah, these washies are so, so nice. I do enjoy these very, very much. Plus Aviva is a lovely person. So I'm super glad to do this for her. And then I just took some like varnish spray because it was peeling up a little bit uh, since it was so light. I didn't do much honestly, but I just felt like it helped. <laughs> then I just kind of constructed a very temporary box around it. Since I don't have to ship these, um, I just use sewing pins to hold these together. But I definitely would love to use like a frame in the future, especially if I do want to do more of these because I think I might do maybe one of these someday and put them on my shop. But yeah, I have no idea how I would ship these because these are quite fragile. So if this is something you'd like me to do in the future in the shop or like commissions, do let me know because these are quite fun. But yeah, I definitely have to find a way to ship these that or either just make them more sturdy, like I mentioned, a frame. So yeah, now time to just draw the face. I did this super simple. I did not want to create something crazy because I wanted to kind of just blend with the whole piece. And so yeah, I've been really enjoying uh, Prismacolor pencils lately and uh, Polychromos, sorry, <laughs> Polychromos pencils. I I only have a few of these, just like loose that I've been buying. I did participate in a contest to buy, to get like a huge set, but unfortunately I didn't win. So sad. <laughs> yeah, I do enjoy these a lot, a lot, and they're super fun. Definitely a material I kind of want to get to know better. So for now, they're great for just little things like these and just little sketches. And yeah, then more spacers. I did a bunch of spacers and I just used wood glue to glue them together. Last time I used double-sided tape and it definitely did not work how I wanted. It kept popping up and just not sticking. So I thought wood glue would work. And so far it's definitely sturdier than my last one. So time will tell how it holds up, we'll see. And definitely everything was very, like done to eye, uh, zero measurements here. Like I mentioned, I'm quite chaotic. So here you can kind of tell the construction of it all. Pretty simple. The, I just kind of want this, the, these pieces to be floating off each other and to give that layered look on the hair mostly. So it was a pretty, Simple design, I think, but quite effective, if I, may, if I may say so myself. Then finally, I did another box, a bit more sturdy this time, so I could glue the spacers for the final part on top, because yeah, this part really needed to be fully spaced. <laughs> and I quite enjoyed this frame. This was super fun to make. It was very flowy and natural, even though it was a paint to cut, but I think it turned out pretty cool.
This is how it turned out. I am quite pleased with it. It was a very fun project. A quick heads up, I think next week won't be a video. I am currently working on a review for XP Pen for a drawing tablet. Also, I have a few other projects that definitely require some concentration. But next week you can expect a full review of an XP Pen tablet that they sent me. So yeah, I'm currently working on that and plus the other projects. So let's see how they go. Oh yeah, and this was a mess of the aftermath because yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it was. In my head it was quite messier, but yeah, <laughs> that was a mess. Oh yeah, and here is Lucas. She was being adorable and I just wanted to share with you guys that little fluffy belly because <laughs> she's adorable. Thank you so much for watching and for being here please leave a like subscribe all that good stuff leave a comment down below let me know if you enjoyed the type of videos that i've been doing lately and if you are excited for the xp pen review i'm quite excited to be working with them as always you guys are the best and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye bye